Hey guys, this is Evan from Easy Origami, and today I'll be teaching you how to fold an origami butterfly. This is a very simple traditional model, and it's perfect for beginners. This model requires one square sheet of paper. If this is your first time folding this model, I recommend using a 6 inch or larger square. Using a 6 inch square will result in a butterfly about 5.5 inches wide. I'm going to be using paper with color on one side and white on the other just to make it a bit easier to follow along but you can use paper with color on both sides. Either way, it will not affect the appearance of the completed model. And once you've prepared your paper, then we're going to start with the white side up, and then we're going to fold in half diagonally. So take this bottom right corner and fold it up to the top left corner. Align the corners and the edges, then make your crease, and then unfold. Then we're going to rotate the paper so that the crease we just made now runs from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. And then we're going to make a diagonal crease in the opposite direction. So once again, take this bottom right corner and fold it up to the top left corner. Align the corners and the edges, then make your crease, and then unfold. And now we're going to fold in half vertically. So take this right edge and fold it over to the left edge. Align the corners and the edges, then make your crease, and then unfold. And then we're going to fold in half horizontally. So take this bottom edge and fold it up to the top edge. Align the corners and the edges, then make your crease, and then unfold. And now we're going to fold in all four corners and align them with this point here where the four creases intersect. So we're going to start with this bottom right corner here, and we're simply going to pull it up and align it with that intersection. Then you can make your crease, and your model should look like this. Then we're going to slightly rotate the model, and we're going to do the same exact thing on this bottom right corner. So we're simply going to pull it up and again align it with that crease intersection. Once everything is aligned, then you can make your crease and then you should have this. Then we're going to rotate the paper once again and we're going to do the same thing. So simply pull up the bottom right corner, align it with that intersection and then make your crease. Then we're going to rotate the paper one last time and we're going to do the same thing. So simply pull up the bottom right corner, align it with that intersection and then make your crease. And then we're going to unfold the four corners that we just folded in so that we're back to the original square. And now we're going to fold in the left and right edges and align them with the center vertical crease. So we're going to start with this right edge here and we're simply going to pull it over to the left. And once the colored edge is completely aligned with that vertical crease, then you can make your crease. And your model should look like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left. So again, we're simply going to pull the left edge over to the right and this time you can align the left edge with the colored edge that we just folded in. And once both colored edges are completely aligned, then you can make your crease. And now we're going to fold up this bottom edge and align it with the center horizontal crease. So we're going to do that by simply pulling up the bottom edge. And once it's completely aligned with that center horizontal crease, then you can make your crease. Then we're going to rotate the model 180 degrees and we're going to do the same exact thing. So once again, we're going to fold up this bottom edge and align it with that center horizontal crease. Or in this case, you can also align it with the colored edges that we just folded down. So we're simply going to pull up the bottom edge just like this. And once it's completely aligned with that horizontal edge, then you can make your crease. And your model should look like this. And now we're going to slightly lift up on that bottom layer of paper that we just folded up. And from here, I want you to notice these two separate white layers of paper underneath this colored layer here. So what we're going to do now is with your left hand, you want to hold down on the center of the model so that it doesn't move. And with your right hand, you want to grab this small white layer of paper from behind on the right side of the model. So we're simply going to grab that small white layer and we're going to carefully pull it over to the right as far as it'll go. You'll see it reaches a point where it doesn't want to go any further. And that's when you want to flatten out the model and you'll see it will recollapse along existing creases. And it should make a shape like this. And once you've done that on the right side, then we want to do the same exact thing on the left. So again, we're going to slightly lift up this bottom layer of paper. And with your right hand, you want to hold down on the center of the model. And with your left hand, you want to grab this small white layer of paper from behind. So we're simply going to grab that layer and we're going to carefully pull it over to the left as far as it goes. You'll see it reaches this point where it doesn't want to go any further. And that's when you want to flatten out the model and recollapse along existing creases. Then we're going to rotate the model 180 degrees and we're going to do the same exact thing. So once again, we're going to lift up that bottom layer of paper, just like we did before. And we're going to start with our left hand on the center of the model. And with our right hand, we want to grab this small white layer of paper from the right side of the model. 
So we're just going to pull that layer over to the right as far as it'll go. Then we can flatten out the model and it will recollapse along existing creases. And then we want to do the same thing one last time on the left. So we're going to slightly lift up this bottom layer of paper. Then with your right hand, you want to hold down the center of the model. And with your left hand, you want to grab that small white layer from behind. Then we're simply going to pull that over to the left as far as it'll go. And once it reaches a point where it doesn't want to go any further, then you can simply flatten out the model along existing creases. And once you've done that four times, your model should look like this. And then we're going to turn the model over. And now we're going to fold the entire model in half along this existing horizontal crease. So we're simply going to fold down this top edge and align it with this bottom edge. So simply fold the model in half, just like this. And now we're going to lift up the top layer of paper on the right side of the model. So we're just going to lift up this flap here. And what we want to do is fold it down along this existing crease here. So we're going to do that by simply folding it down as far as it'll go. And you'll see the paper will recollapse along existing creases. So simply reinforce those creases. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left. So we're going to lift up the very top layer of paper and we're going to fold it down along this existing crease here. So we're simply going to fold that flap down as far as it'll go. You'll see it will recollapse along existing creases. Then you can just flatten out the model and your model should look like this. And now we're going to give the butterfly some shape. So we're going to do that by narrowing the wings on the left and right sides of the model. So let's start with this right side here. And what we're going to do is lift up on this top layer of paper and we're going to fold in the corner just slightly. Now there's no exact reference point for this. The idea is just to give the butterfly's wing some shape. So once you have something like this, then you can make your crease. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So again, we're going to lift up the top layer of paper and we're just going to fold in this corner slightly. I like to try to make it symmetrical with the other side. So you may have to slightly adjust it just like this. And once both sides are fairly symmetrical, then you can make your crease. And now we're going to fold the entire model in half along an existing vertical crease here. So we're essentially folding this top right corner over to this top left corner. So we're carefully going to fold all the layers over to the left, just like this, along that existing vertical crease. And now we're going to make a new crease like this one that I've marked here. So I find it easiest to do this by using your right hand to hold down the top right corner of the model. And from here you want to lift up the top set of layers on the left side of the model, and you're simply going to fold them over to the right like this. And you'll see that you're folding it up at an angle. So you can slightly rotate the model, and again, there's no exact reference point for this, so you can adjust the crease any way that you'd like. Then you can make your crease in the center of the model, just like this. Crease sharply because you're folding through a lot of layers. Then we're going to turn the model over. And you'll see that it's not exactly symmetrical. So we simply need to fold the entire model in half. And I find it easiest to do this by folding this top right corner over to this top left corner. So we're just going to fold over the right side of the model, just like this, until both of those corners are aligned. If you've done this correctly, all of the layers on the left side of the model should align as well. Then what you want to do is reinforce this crease on the right side of the model. So just crease sharply because you're folding through a lot of layers. Then what we want to do is lift up the model and we're going to separate the two layers from the top. Then you can slightly open up the model a bit. And this is the completed butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to fold an origami butterfly. Feel free to upload photos of your completed model to the YouTube gallery on my website to be featured here in my next video, or simply upload your photos to Instagram with the hashtag EasyOrigami to be featured here as well. And if you like this video, definitely check out some of the other simple origami videos featured on my YouTube channel as well. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching.